Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. I'm the last person who knew my wife was cheating on me, even my daughter. Long story, but I need to write all of it somewhere. Sorry for rambling like that. I, 55M, found out my wife, 52F, cheated on me a few years ago. Wife never gave me any suspicious behavior, we've always been a strong couple, married for 25 years, three daughters, 17 slash 20 slash 23, or at least I thought. Or did I find out? One day I received a message from a woman telling me that soon the husband confessed that he cheated with a senior colleague of mine. He came clean and gave the name of the woman, so she did a really good at digging and found him. She thought I deserved to know the truth. I don't know if she did that to get back at my wife, or genuinely thought I deserved to know, but that's not important. I didn't believe her at the beginning, but as she gave me more details about the affair, the dates, duration, many of her workers who knew, etc., so it does appear to be true. The guys gave her all the details, hotel name, even the address of my goddamn house as she invited him, her phone number, and so on, so yeah, at some point I had to face the truth. The guy was 21 at that time, kid, still can't believe she slept with a kid. It happened when I was on a business trip, classic. When I put things together, I realized that she probably planned this as my business trip to schedule months in the I find it hard to believe that it's a coincidence that she suddenly cheated the same period of time while I was away. She's planning our next holiday, talking about going to visit our daughters, our eldest works in a different city, and the second one is in college, the youngest is finishing high school. She's like a flatmate now, I just don't feel anything, I'm a ghost living in my house. I wake up at 5, go to the gym, go to work, I have my own business, come back around 7pm, and just do my own stuff. Feeling something is weird, but I don't really care. What took the most, and that's where I need advice, is that my daughter is new about me too. The single husband told his girl that my daughter walked on them while they were kissing in our living room, wife thought she would be at school all day. Apparently, she managed to calm down daughter and explain the situation. Put them first in any decision about my business to make sure I can survive. Send them to college free of debts to give them the best start in their working life. I try to be there at every step of their life, 
basically what any father would do. We had our ups and downs obviously but nothing major. They are my baby girls and I always saw them as my little princesses. So knowing that they knew really sing. Part of me think they didn't tell me because they were scared of destroying the family. But still, I have this anger inside me that keeps going. We have a WhatsApp group and when I see them asking for advice, asking to have for the topic for a flat and so on, I just feel like screaming and confront all of them. But I know it won't solve anything, it will just be a 10 seconds happy feeling for me and then it will go back to sleep. Another part of me just wants to leave. Close my bank account and just leave the house. Cut ties with all of them and just leave without money. My good friend advised against that because law doesn't take this kindly. But really, I can't say that this option is not going on me. I don't even want to call. I don't even understand the point of view. I want to leave and go somewhere like Thailand. Stay on the beach for a few months and maybe one day I'll feel ready to listen, or maybe I won't. I don't want to hear about how sorry they are, how they regret they didn't do it. They had three years. For three years they looked at me in the eyes and didn't say it then. I really don't know how they managed to keep a poker face like nothing happened and still behave as usual. I feel like the four of them are master manipulators, and this anger inside me is not going away. What did you guys do with you? Reconciliation with the wife is out of question. She repulses me with the fact that she behaves like a loving wife just adds to the fire inside me. I'm glad my friend helped me and talked to me about her experience and then see this from our outside point of view. Where I need advice is about my daughters. As I said part of me wants to talk, another part just feels like they don't deserve a chance to come clean now. It's too late. I'm just so lost. Thanks for reading all of that. It took me forever to put that on paper, but somehow it just feels good. Edit. Hi, guys. First of all, thanks a lot to all of you for reading this long post. I thought I would wake up and reply to a few messages, then I saw the number and got a bit overwhelmed. I can't thank you enough for all the support. I read all the comments and thought I would have an edit so everybody could read their thoughts. Not sure how Reddit works so I hope I'm doing this fine. since the kids have grown up to an alimony issue. As for spouse support, she might ask for it but since she works and is doing fine for herself, the judge will most likely turn that down. Our joint account is only used for the things that we pay as a couple, otherwise we have our own bank accounts. That was a strong advice from my parents that if two partners are working, they should not put everything in a joint account. Can't thank them enough for that? Layway said she could argue that my business is doing well and she's entitled to a part of it if I happen to sell it. But since she works we can always argue about this. To be honest, I don't even care. Talk to my daughter, I know I should. You guys are 100% right. The reason
reason I'm not done it is because I have this anger inside me that is not going away. I feel like if one of them say something that doesn't go well with me, I might snap. And yes, I would like to believe my wife manipulated them to keep the secret, so me snapping will make it worse. Yes, the anger is misplaced. But just to be clear, obviously I hated my wife and I learned about the affair. But then anger turned into indifference. I will divorce and she will be gone. With my kids it's different. I can't hate my kids. I have feelings for them, unfortunately right now I can't. The reason I assume my youngest shared it with the two others is because they have always been very close to each other. Supporting each other, which makes me very proud, so it's hard to believe my youngest didn't share it. But if someone said I'm not 100% sure. In any case, I don't want to blame them. I didn't have right now. Between a wife, three daughters, a business to run, my only me time is the time at the gym I allow myself to have. But I don't feel it's enough to make the anger go away. And in my current situation, it would be weird if I tell them I would be away for one night and then go to Hawaii. The Kennedy test. Etc. Health checks are a no-brainer. I have an appointment at a clinic and I'll do all the tests needed. Fraternity tests. I don't know. I mean, what's the point? Worst case, they are not my class. Does that matter? Related is not relevant. If they are not, then it's on the mother, not them. I can't hold them accountable for that. Maybe the lady who contacted me lied. That was my first thought. I mean, two grown daughters. I thought we were a strong couple. My first reply was, I am sorry you're going through this, but I don't believe your story about my wife. Then she started giving me more details, more proofs. As I said I don't care if it was because she wanted to ruin our marriage, but if the details are coming, doubt starts getting into your courage, and it's not going away. I started my own investigation, and as you can imagine it's a lot easier to find clues when you know what you are looking for. I'm not one to live in denial. Facts are facts and as much it hurts, you have to face the truth. From what I understood she and the guy were preparing their wedding. I don't know what happened to him but it seems that he had this urge of coming to me. God knows what happened to him. Cut ties with all of them and move on. I assume these comments are from people with no kids. I can't walk away like that. What I meant is I would think for a period of time to process everything, and when I'm here, we would talk. But yes, it won't be the same. I love them, they love me. But it won't be the same. However, no matter
matter how angry I am I feel like I can't just leave like that. If my youngest didn't actually share the secret and kept it to herself, he knew it would be devastating for her. And now that she might be sensitive to that, this is my nightmare scenario. I might be an idiot for thinking that, but my role as a father is to protect them. I will get the role to speed up the paperwork and get my wife served. Then on the day she receives the papers I'll Skype with my daughters, they are all in different states, so we can have a discussion to clear them. I want to do this on the same day so that they don't go talking to their mother and then she'll try her best to play the victim. I want her to believe I know nothing until I'm ready. It's Sunday now, I hope by next week all the papers will be ready and then I can finally open up and have a discussion with my girl. Let's see how it goes. I didn't expect to receive so much support so I will make sure to update you once there are significant updates. Maybe my situation will be helpful for someone else. But I do hope nobody has to go through that and look for advice. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.